Okay, you join us in store today with the whole Sticky Baits team and one man in particular, one man that Tom Maker calls a very nice bloke, Adam <laughs> Pennin. Right, Adam, you've been with a number of different companies, but obviously Sticky Baits is one of the, what seems to be a hugely fast growing company out there at the moment. I know you're using some of our bits and pieces, but we'll get onto that in a while. But Sticky Bakes, tell us a bit about it and, and what you found so exciting and drew you to the company. Well, I've been, uh, I mean, I knew the guys from Sticky Bakes for going back quite a long time because I fished at Raysbury with them and uh, knew their sort of ethos, where they were going and, uh, and the exciting things that they were doing. But I've always been um, just in with Mainline, um, very happy with my relationship there. Fantastic baits, um, and I used them for a long time. Having said that, the success story that is Sticky Baits was getting to a point where, um, because of my natural dialogue and discourse with the guys on the team, I was regularly hearing about these things that were going on. They were telling me about these great inroads they were making into bait science and so on. And uh, in the end, it was uh, it was something that I really wanted to be part of. It's, it's quite a rare opportunity to be able to get in at the sharp end with a, a company as it's evolving and yeah, growing. Yeah. And, uh, and for me, that was too big a, an opportunity to miss. And um, when I went up to the factory for the first time, just blew me away, like a James Bond facility, right? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. phenomenal. And you, you go in there and it's, it's like something out of Dr. No, and you go in there and these guys have even spent like thousands of pounds just on water yeah. purification systems, just on that. So that, the, so that the bait's cooked in purified water. And, they're doing other things behind the scenes at a level that, that I, I know other people aren't. There's a lot of good bait companies out there, of course there are, um, but these guys are really doing something a bit special and carving their own unique niche. Yeah, because it seemed that, you know, the bait was out there. I mean, it was selling, you know, quite well through the shop and then suddenly, bang, it just exploded. Yeah. You know, I think there was like yourself, uh, Tom joined up there. There were a number of people that seem to know a lot about bait, which you know you obviously do. Um, join the company, mm. and there was obviously something else there, you know, that, that that made you go in. And and obviously the quality is shown because it's catching some well, crazy numbers and big fish at the moment. Yeah, you're right. It's phenomenal. I have to be honest. I don't really know a lot about bait, but I do know what works and I'm always aware of, of what's going on and what's been becoming dominant and the krill yeah. in such a short space of time where well, there's a brand sticky has become quite dominant but certain products like the krill have become such a tour de force in as you said a very short space of time um, and you can't you can't manufacture that just through any kind of marketing or placement or anything a bait either is really good or it isn't and that track record particularly for really big fish was something that I found really attractive but I went into it with an open mind Brian and I thought I mean the guys were telling me it was a big fish bait yeah um, six months down the line uh, I've done my carp PB three times and I've had a PB so you've had a 20 pounder already and then a 21 and then a 22 three times Right. <laughs> and a no, I am joking. Adam has caught some absolute monsters, which I'm sure you're seeing some pictures of at the moment. Um, and a PB tench as well. Yeah. Now, when you've been fishing as long as we have, you yeah. know, a PB comes along maybe every few years. To yeah, get yeah. to do it three times in six months, I thought this actually is a big fish bait. Yeah. Ten pound, two ounce tench, and you know, and I thought it, it smells, it looks. I mean, the bait fashion out there at the moment is largely nut orientated and it's very they, they tend to be sweet creamy type baits and i think this is such a it's turned everything on its head back to the old rich dark fish meal that's loaded with natural attractors yeah. and it really does seem to single out the bigger fish and so with your fishing then you've obviously got a, a you know a personal favorite i know the hook baits are lovely you know the little um sort of 10 or 12 millers and yeah. you know we sell loads of them but your ideal fishing city if you know if you take you know, I'm going somewhere, I need to catch fish. Yeah. What would be your choice of sticky baits to actually use? Okay, a very good question. I, I tend to get a couple of kilos of krill. Um, I, I tend to use the, the freezer bait, although um, I always have the shelf life in the car is back up. It, it's, it's virtually identical. It's not loaded with preservatives. Um, it's the same formula, but I, I take a couple of kilos of krill and I always like to put it in a food blender. Okay. Um, I, I think as good as a boily is, boily crumb, is mm. like one of the greatest carp baits you, you can ever get, get. So I'll crumb a load up, a couple of kilos, and then um, I love to use the cap oil, which is like a spicy fish oil. And I'll work that into the mix um, until it just sort of squeezes together. Yeah. Um, and then I'll probably add about half a kilo of whole baits, mix it all up, leave it overnight. 
and then when I go fishing, I'll, I'll spawn that out onto a spot. Okay. Um, and fish a multi-rig over the top with a, with a little pop-up, and that's working for me everywhere. And it's a slightly different um, baiting situation to what a lot of people are using. Mm. Boily crumb isn't used that, that much still. Um, and the oil leak off massively mm. attractive. You can see when there's fish coming in on your spot because you get the, the slick. So you've got, you know, you've, you've got a variety of different sizes all soaked up in those bits and pieces. Absolutely. You know, because I know there's quite a few people that are getting coming in the shop at the moment, buying the krill, um, getting the quarter cutter, slicing them all in half and putting them straight in their hemp. Right. And soaking the hemp juice up in it. And I know that has been phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I think it's got to a stage now where you've got to look at products and doing something slightly different. Mm. Um, mm. You know, obviously with the quality of the, uh, the sticky baits bits and pieces, making that extra bit of effort just puts more fish on your bank. And, and it's obviously something that you've carried on with for many years of, of keep pushing, just keep pushing yeah, it a little bit further forward. Yeah, keep pushing the boundary. I mean, just talking about those ingredients, if you look at something like that, mm. now there's a lot of products out there which are called krill products, yeah. which, um, and, and some of it, some of them are, are just powders or flavours or so on. But when, when I went to the factory, they said, "Do you want to see what's in the krill boilies?" And I said, "Oh, yeah, I'd love to." <laughs> Got this slab of, and put it down on the tabletop, and it, it had a, a thousand eyes and a million tails. It was just pure krill, you know. And that's what goes in the bait. That's what's in the liquids, and it's natural, super attractive. And as I said, you can't overdo it, and it is definitely big fish attractive. So, yeah, I mean, that's for, certainly for. The next few months, um, I might ch might tweak things for the winter, um, but certainly for the next few months, I'll be using krill, krill crumb, and, and lots of oil. And, uh, it okay. seems to work everywhere. There you go, from the man himself. That's what he uses within the Sticky Baits range. Fantastic range. Either pop in the shop or go and have a look for yourself. Um, there is something there for everyone. Now, one thing we wanted to talk to Adam about while he was here, you've, number, you've used a number of our bits and pieces over the years. I have, yeah. Um, what's been your favourite? Great question, brilliant range. To narrow it down, my personal favourite, um, unquestionably, is the Blitz Mix. I don't know what you guys have done with that, <laughs> but that is phenomenally attractive to carp everywhere I've taken it. Um, so I quite often use that. My, my favourite way to use so it the multi mix the mix the blitz you... multi mix yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it is uh, I remember when Sean first let me have a bit however many years ago when it came out and and I went and I, I was balling it with um, hemp liquid after I put yeah. the hemp and putting it on spots and it just keeps fish in the air for so long so it, usually if I'm if I'm doing a stalking session um, where I can see into the water. Um, and I'm farming spots, I'll put a couple, because if I put 10 boilies on a spot, by the time I get back to it two hours later, the boilies might be on the fish will be gone. Yeah, yeah. Put a ball of that, just one ball, one baby's head, as the match anglers call it, on the spot, the fish will just stay there for hours. When I spill blitz mix on my drive, when I'm knocking it up, so I spill it on the concrete, my cats come over, they, <laughs> they lick it up, and then they carry on licking the concrete after it's gone, until they've worn, worn the concrete away almost. There's something, <laughs> something in it, and anyway. Um, so I like to yeah use yeah. Um, particle liquid, boil it up. Um, I was at a place called the Quarry a couple of weeks ago, uh, just to give you a little illustration. I had some on a margin spot up a tree with a couple of clients. It was quite a big tree, luckily. And uh, we're looking <laughs> down, and there, there were 22 fish in three foot of gin clear water at our feet on two balls of this stuff for nearly two hours. Incredible. Yeah, the preoccupation, yeah. the attraction. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's a firm favourite. Um, so you've, I mean, I know you've used Beetlein since since we first brought it out. I yeah. remember sending you in a bottle, um, and tigers and hemp. Uh, you know, particle fishing seems to be coming back in again at the mm. moment, yeah. uh, and those sort of products. Um, do you ever dip your sticky baits in Beetlein? Um, I do, and in fact, I saw one of your new products today, which I didn't know was out. The Beetlein with black currant. Oh right, yeah, yeah. No, that's a bit. <laughs> I like that, it's really special. So I'm going to get some of that and I'm going to experiment. I like to keep um, the colour and tone generally of my hook baits the same as the surrounding feed hmm. rather than pop yeah, up yeah. yellow or white yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, but I, I really like the idea of that, that bluish hmm. tint and the, and the black currant flavour. Obviously the beetle in itself has got a track record which few hmm. things have. So definitely going to give that a go if you'll let me take a little bottle today, please. Please, we'll please. Think about that one. <laughs> Um, right, tigers, hemp, you know, yeah. I've always used uh, from you guys and um, the quality of your particles has always been second to none. Um, so tigers and hemp have always been a, a firm part of my approach during the summer months. Um, talking of which, 
another product which I could definitely not be without um, that comes from you guys is your floaters. Um, your four mil and eleven mil floaters mm. are phenomenal, and I've used them for years. And yeah, I couldn't I couldn't go without them. They're brilliant. So, Lovely. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Um, superb talking to you, Adam. Lovely to have you down here in the shop. Um, keep whacking out those big ones. And uh, <laughs> as soon as you go onto something new, pop back and see us, and then we can do another little bit with you to see what your next Absolutely. thing is yeah, you're going on to. It. Because the number of fish you're catching, we all want to be using it. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, Brian. Thanks, Cheers. Adam.